Hi guys, this is Flynn. I'm in my pajamas, but that is because it is like, what time is it? It's like 12 something right now. I don't know. It's close to one o'clock. I shouldn't be up. That's why I have food to energize me. Yay. <sighs> my experience with my friend Jim. We went to watch the Mario movie together. It was really fun. And Jim sat next to me and his mom. And I sat next to a little girl. That little girl sang along with Peaches, the song that Bowser sings. Peaches, Peaches. <laughs> that song is nightmare f fuel for me. And... <sighs> Just spoiler warning ahead. She also said, Bowser, you meanie, talking about Donkey Kong. Like, what? My favorite characters were in the movie Ellis 3. Donkey Kong in third place. Cranky Kong in second place. And Penguin Sigma Male King in first place. Bro, that guy was so great. They should have kept him. They... they <laughs> Bro would have, like, posed an actual threat. I saw a meme where someone ma made it reverse after he says, Do you yield? And Bowser said, I do. And then he just just, just reverses it. <laughs> that was great. Um, anyways. So, I'll start from the very beginning. Pa Bowser, what? Penguin plus Bowser. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Please don't ask. Um, um, but what happened was, Bowser went to the, the penguins, and yeah, he got the power star. And then we'll resume to the parts I actually talk about. Yay! Okay. Now in the Mario movie. They go to Brooklyn. There's Foreman freaking Spike. He was before Bowser, bro. He was in Wrecking Crew. <sighs> and I, I love the references in the movie. Charles Martinet played two characters, I think. I think he played Mario's dad. But he also played... um. Uh, like, if with the Mario voice, um, someone playing a Jumpman game. Jumpman was Mario's original name. I really love these references. And, uh, Mario and Luigi have a close bond. And Brooklyn is, like, flooding, I think. And Mario and Luigi is like, this is our job. We have to stop it. Yay! Um, and then what happens is why have i not learned my lesson i need a script <sighs> anyways let's talk about what happens next there's an entire like like pipe place and luigi and mario get sucked in and then like Mm. Luigi sucked into the dark lands. <gasps> oh no. Mario tries to save him and he meets Toad and Toad's kind of annoying. Um he was funny sometimes but kind of annoying at others. Uh I can get Jim's opinion on this movie as another review but like <sighs> right after this video I'm going to bed. Another thing is, after he gets to the Mushroom Kingdom, let me just address this really quick. Address this really quick. Mario and Bowser simp for Peach real hard, bro. Bowser simps even harder. Okay. 
Okay. Then, like, Mario meets Peach, and it's really awkward, and he, like, has a, a crush on her. And th then, like... <sighs> I thought that was kind of weird. Like, in the game, she likes him back. So, like, Mario flirting wasn't that good. Told you I'd get you a pet turtle. <laughs> that must have been so weird. I'm I'm sorry for you guys that I had to do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's my new thing now. Um, I'm not doing it on accident. I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> Um, okay, my eye hurts, can't blame me. <sighs> Let me just go check what time it is. Okay, so, then they're trying to get help from the Kong dudes, and all of them are, like, absolute gym bros. They're Giga Chats. Donkey Kong is the best. They had the DK rap. <laughs> that used to be my favorite song. Uh, and our friends were like, I'm concerned that that's your favorite song. And then I started repeating it. Walnuts, peanuts, pineapple smells. <laughs> Yeah, things just got real awkward. Um, Mario beat Donkey Kong, even though... I don't really think that he should've. Like, there's all these fights in movies where, like, the good guy shouldn't win. Like, what? I'm not saying Donkey Kong's a bad guy. I think in that situation, Mario's the bad guy. Mm, of course, that's just my opinion, but... Okay. So, if I remember next, after Mario beats him, they get the carts ready, and then there's, like, Blue Shell dude, and he, like, almost kills Donkey Kong and Mario, and they, the eel from Mario 64 comes and, like, eats them, like Pinocchio or something. I told Jimmy that it was, like, Pinocchio. <sighs> then... What happens is, this is also a summary, by the way. The gist. <laughs> but another thing is that, um, man, why can't I end this video? Because I love you guys. So like and subscribe. <laughs> Voice crack. Most most of that was intentional. The the subscribe part wasn't. Uh, I'm getting older. Um, not that old. Still getting older though. <sighs> Did I really forget what happened after that? There was blue shell guy. Then they used the rocket to get out of the eel. <sighs> what happened next? Did he do the Peaches song? I hate that song. I think next what happened was he would be like, I'll destroy your kingdom or marry me. <laughs> um, and Peach like doesn't want her little mushroom fungus dudes to die. So, um, she's like, okay, fine, I'll marry you. And then <laughs> she's like, psych! And then Bowser's, like, depressed, and then he tries to, like... He goes into the humans' worlds. And then Mario and Luigi use the power of friendship to save the day! <laughs> and... What happens is, basically... 
Um, my brain hurts. They use the superstar to defeat Bowser, and Bowser gets tiny. Um, I'm going to rate the acting of this movie. I would rate it 9 out of 10. It had some really good actors, but some that weren't as good. Okay, art style for the movie. I'm going to rate it a solid 10 out of 10. Because I don't think it's as good as the games, but I think it still can hold up on its own. And finally, let's talk about music. I'm going to rate specifically Peaches a 1 out of 10. It's like, what was that song, man? Why did they need to make Bowser such a simp? Anyways, let, let me think of more references. I'll go over them in YouTube shorts. Everyone, like and subscribe so I can keep on doing content. I hope you enjoy my videos. And this was Flynn Attack, and peace.